All right, you can keep adding zeros, and this will keep going on forever. So rather than have you write all those threes down forever, what do we do? Brady? I'm going to draw the line. Over. Yeah, we put a little line over this three. And what that three says is that, or what that line says is that three keeps repeating forever. You could never get to the end of that three. And that little line has a very special name that you'll never hear again, probably, except for today. It's called the repetem. All E's. Repetem. You can pretend you don't know what a repetem is, but that's what it is there. Or the repeating decimals are the ones that repeat. Now, some of them get a little goofy. For example, this one. What about one seventh? What is one seventh as a decimal? Well, we don't know, so let's figure it out. You divide seven into one. I'm just going to throw down some zeros. And you have to do it until you get to something that repeats. Bring up your decimal. Seven goes into ten once, correct? Yes, just agree with me. Seven goes into thirty four times, right? Seven goes into twenty. How many times? Twice, which is fourteen. Seven goes into sixty. How many times? Eight or eight again. Fifty-six. Seven goes into forty. How many times? Brady. Five. Five. Seven goes into fifty. How many times? Seven. Seven. Now, is anything repeating yet? No. Not yet. Seven goes into. I get forty-nine, so I subtract. I get ten. How many times does 7 go into 10? Once. And if I keep doing it, what's going to repeat this whole pattern of 7, 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1? Because my next number, when I do the 10 again, just like I did 10 the last time, I'm going to end up with a 3 again, which is the same as this 3 that was right here. So I'll get 30. So I'll get a 4, and I'll get a 2, and I'll get an 8, and I'll get a 5, and a 7. And those numbers will keep repeating. So when you show that as a repeater, you have to put the line over every digit that repeats. So the line would have to go over that whole thing. That tells you that whole group of number repeats over and over and over and over again. Isn't that exciting? Now you ask, what is the book going to ask me to do? What is the book going to ask you to do? Well, they're going to ask you to do this. When you get to a repeater, they're going to ask you to round it to the nearest whatever. For example, they might give you a repeater that looks like this, 0 0.31. Now, let me change that. 0 0.37, with a line about that. And they'll say round to the nearest thousandth. If they ask you to do that, what you must understand is you have to take this number and actually repeat the numbers till you get it far enough so that you can round it. In other words, this. We know that 3, 7, both the 3 and the 7 keep repeating. So you could do this a bunch of times. We're not going to need all of these, but it looks like this. What digit is in the thousands place? Tens, hundreds, thousands. Is that digit going to stay a 3 or get rounded up to a 4, Kate? Get rounded up to a four. Why is it going to get rounded up to a four? Because it's bigger. Oh, no, no. I was going to be rounded to a four. Oh, boy. Now we're at a quandary here. Three or a four and why? Kevin? It's a four because the number before it is going to be Not the number before it. Technically, the number after it. Maybe it's all about you saying. Because this is a seven that comes after it, this gets rounded up to a four. And remember, as I've told you before and numerous times again, if you're rounding to the thousands place, the thousands place is the last digit in your answer. You don't change these two zeros. You just leave it as this. Is that understood? Uh, another one. For example, what would 0 0.6 be rounded to the nearest 
What is 0 0.6 rounded to the nearest hundred? Again, you probably want to sit down and draw this. Oh, sorry. This is a repeater. That would make a difference. What would it be rounded to the nearest hundred? Ephraim? 0.67. Okay, this is in the hundreds place, so you look at this digit, that's higher than 5, so this becomes a 7, and it is 0 0.67. What else might they ask you to do? Oh, let's just do one more. Uh, I'll, I'll have you do this one. What is 1 30th as a decimal? Two minutes. What is one thirtieth as a decimal? One thirtieth. One thirtieth. Answers? Do we got any? One thirtieth as a decimal. This one could get a little dicey. One thirtieth rib as a decimal? Point three is a repeater. Point three is a repeater. Take a look here, sir. I was hoping we wouldn't have this issue. You bring the decimal straight up, rib. Okay, 30 does not go into 10, so there should be a 0 there. And then how many times does 30 go into 100? There's where the 3 comes in. And you get 90, and you subtract, and you keep getting 100. So this keeps going like that. So the answer should be 0 0.03 repeater. 1 third is 0.3 repeater. 1 thirtieth would be 0 0.03 repeater. You could probably guess what 1 300th would be. I want to speculate. Sam? 0 0.003 repeater. How about there? I think that's a great one, don't you think? I know Jalen thinks it's an incredible thing. What kind of school do you Let us do. I'm trying to do in the first 20. Let's do the last 20. What was that? 11 through 30? Yeah. Let's do 11 through 30 at 30. No, yes? 11 through 30 at 30. 